Hello and welcome to the Essential 99 Punctuation Rules for Court Reporters, the introduction video, video number one. My name is Ken Wick. This video is going to answer three basic questions of uh, why am I making videos on punctuation for court reporters? Two, what references am I using? And three, what's the structure of the videos? So why am I making or why am I making these videos? Well, one, the National Court Reporters Association grading guidelines uh, states the RPR and RMR skills test are developed based on the rules of punctuation set forth in the Greg's reference manual and Merriam-Webster's dictionary. This must mean that all court reporters use the Greg's reference manual. Well, the answer is no. A February 2018 Facebook poll showed 86% of court reporters used either Morrison's English Guide for Court Reporters or Court Reporting, Bad Grammar, Good Punctuation. And only 9% of court reporters used the Greg's Reference Manual. And uh, looking these references, or looking up the cost for these references, uh, Morrison's English Guide costs, uh, I just looked these up like I think two weeks ago, $120, but you have to be an, uh, a member to get that price. Um, bad Grammar, Good Punctuation, the textbook and the workbook cost $108. And the Greg Reference Manual costs $74. Now, these are all new prices. Um, you can pick these up slightly cheaper online. I believe I've still paid over $100 uh, for the Morrison's English Guide and probably maybe somewhere around $80, $70. I for exactly forget for the good, Bad Grammar, Good Punctuation. And I believe I paid um, $45 used for the Greg's Reference Manual. Definitely the cheapest, but as we see, only 9% use this, uh, uh, or the Greg's Reference Manual. So, continuing with why am I making these videos, well, the problem is uh, a student needs to learn the punctuation rules, but doesn't have the funds to buy the reference. What is a cash-strapped student to do? Well, the answer would be free or inexpensive resources, but, uh, you know, uh, as we just looked at, these references cost usually over $100 each, so there isn't really a free or inexpensive option until now. So the answer is the essential 99 punctuation rules for court reporters, which I'm just uh, shortening to 99 rules, are the videos, which are completely free. Completely free. Um, there are 46 videos on punctuation or grammar and punctuation. And that's a total, uh, it's just a little over eight hours of content. So free eight hours of content. Now I do also offer an inexpensive reference and workbook, a uh, printer ebook of the 99 rules, but that's optional. You can watch your videos for completely free, take notes. You do not need to buy the reference or the workbook. It's just something if you want to pick it up. If you, if you find it valuable, that'd be great. So what references am I using for the second question? Well, the punctuation rules and the 99 rules are not my rules. Just to let you know a little bit about me, I'm actually a civil engineer that lives in the Sacramento area. I took up a court reporting probably over 10 years ago when uh, uh, layoffs were looming at work and I found court reporting. And I said, uh, that would uh, that'd probably be a good thing to look into. So uh, that started me on my career path down, or not really career path, but my interest in court reporting, punctuation, and things like that. So actually, I'm a civil engineer that's uh, more of a steno hobbyist. So, but uh, back to the rules. These are not my rules. The 99 rules are the rules in the current editions of the most commonly used grammar and punctuation references for court reporting. Morrison's English Guide for Court Reporters, the second edition, 1997. 
there's no more current edition. I believe my printing is from 2004. I'd have to look that up. But it's the second edition. Um, it's also the 2011 uh, court reporting bad grammar good punctuation. I believe it's uh, the printing I have is from 2016. And the Griggs Reference Manual, 11th edition, 2011. So the rules are the rules from these three guides. So the good news is where the uh, where these rules agree, I just have the rule. You know, it's like uh, you know after a statement, put a period. You know, all these three references agree on on that rule. And where the uh, rules don't agree, um, oh, that's right, that's the next slide. So what happens when they don't agree? Oh. I forgot one reference, sorry. And the Merriam-Webster's online dictionary. This dictionary, if you look up uh, the details online, it has approximately 250,000 words, which is basically like the Merriam-Webster's collegiate dictionary. So what happens when these references don't agree? So just to say, unfortunately not, uh, the three references mean Morrison's English Guide, uh, um, bad punctuation, good grammar, and uh, the Griggs Reference Manual don't always agree. So the uh, I will actually uh, highlight the differences, meaning here's the rule, but if you want to follow um, the, the Griggs Reference Manual, then you would do this for this rule. So I will actually highlight the differences. And then when necessary, when these rules don't agree, I go to Supplemental re uh, References, uh, which were um, the Chicago Manual Style, the 17th edition, 2017. So, and uh, I also looked uh, or used the United States Government Printing, Pub I'm sorry, Publishing Office Style Manual, 2016, to see what they had to say when these references don't agree. Um, and the Little Brown Handbook, uh, to the 13th edition, 2016. This was my main uh, grammar reference right here so but it also has punctuation rules and it's interesting to see what it has to say uh, uh, when it doesn't agree so usually if these three don't agree I usually look to my main supplemental reference was the Chicago manual of style then after that uh, basically these two references to see what they had to say and I looked at this one because uh, uh, court reporters tend to work for government or will be working with the government and it's interesting to see what the United States government actually has to say. So the structure of the videos. Well the 99 rules because if you if you saw that title you're thinking wow there's a lot more than 99 rules in those um, in those man, in those style guides and the 99 rules focus on the most important punctuation rules until another reference can be purchased. These videos are not intended to replace one of the uh, those references. I actually highly recommend buying one of those references when you can. This is just an inexpensive or free uh, resource until you can purchase one of those uh, reference manuals. And um, I say it focuses on the most important punctuation rules. What I mean by that is I use what was called or what's called the 80-20 rule. And the 80-20 rule basically says that 80% of the results come from 20% of the causes. So for example, 80% of sales come from 20% of customers. So this would mean for, uh, for us, for, uh, for punctuation mean, probably means that about 80% of punctuation usage only comes from about 20% of the punctuation rules. So therefore, the 99 videos in ebook and printed book focus on the 20% are the most commonly used punctuation rules. So I'm not trying to cover all the punctuation rules. I'm just trying to get cover those punctuation rules that are used most often that you're going to see most of the time, not every rule. So not every rule, and maybe a book can never cover every rule, but it's not going to cover all the rules found in uh, Morrison's English Guide. It's not, it's not, not all of them are going to be there. So I'm just focusing on the most important ones. So structure the videos. There's also um, an initial focus on understanding grammar. You can't, you don't need to be a grammarian to punctuate. 
but you can't punctuate well without knowing the basics of grammar and sentence structure. So, and Morrison's English Guide has little discussion on grammar. It was probably meant as uh, it seems like uh, at this time in the 1997s that uh, uh, you find actually other uh, English guides for court reporters. I couldn't be mistaken, but I have found other books. So maybe Morrison's was really just meant to focus on punctuation and you're supposed to have another grammar book. I'm not too sure. It'd be nice to have a court, an older court reporter uh, chime in on that. But um, the uh, bad grammar, good punctuation actually has the initial four chapters are on grammar. So if you think of that a guide as mainly a punctuation guide, well, the first four chapters are all in grammar. And um, she actually says in her book, I, Marjorie Wakeman Wells, believe it is not possible to punctuate well without understanding the basics of grammar and sentence structure. Basically, I agree. You have to know grammar, basic grammar and sentence structure to punctuate. And my videos cover uh, basic grammar. Also, I cover uh, related, uh, related rules. Related punctuation rules on the same topic are covered together for better comprehension. So what I found in, in the, some of the other books is uh, like on the, I know on Morrison's English guide that uh, it covers the period and then it starts talking about period, the period with closing quotation marks. Well, to me, um, that should just be covered. You should try to group those rules together. So what I mean by that is an actual, well, that's actually my first example, quote, direct quotations. So when I cover direct quotations or quotation marks, I cover capitalization, setting off the quotations, that's usually then with a comma or colon, closing quotation marks with other punctuation, just as I was mentioning with like periods and commas. So when you go to the period and comma section in my rules, you won't really find the, punct the, the, uh, the, the rules that cover the period with the quotation mark, I'm actually going to cover that when you get the quotations. Because I think that's how people would look things up. So they're going to say, oh, I have a quote. How do I use a period with a quote? Some other examples are the slash. So I don't cover all the things with a slash. So slash slashes are used usually with are used with dates and fractions. So um, I'm just going to cover it when I cover dates. When I'm covering dates, I'm going to cover, you know, like numerical formatting. There's a slash, things like that. Fractions. So when I cover fractions, I'm going to cover, you know, uh, do you use a number, do you use words, you know, use a slash, when do you use a slash. So I don't cover that when I cover slashes. I'm going to cover that when I cover fractions, so I cover everything at once. It's a related topic for better comprehension. Another example, colon. So I have, uh, there's the general rules, uh, basically uh, connecting or separating clauses and phrases. If you don't understand this, don't worry. There's a general section. And then, you know, colon, using a colon with direct quotations, with time. I'm not going to cover all the, the rules with a colon, even though they have different uses. When I have these related uses, you know, like time or direct quotations, that's when I'm going to cover that aspect of the colon. I'll just skip that one. And then, uh, so then the continue with the f structure of the videos, there's... Um, what I call the fundamental concepts, uh, just to reveal these. Um, there's a total of five videos for an hour and a half. So in an hour and a half, I'm going to go over grammar, overview of the punctuation marks, and the four different types of sentences. To me, these last two videos, even though you may say, oh, that doesn't look too important, but these are very important. This actually covers uh, most people, if you ask them or talk to them, say, well, generally, when, you use, when do you use a semicolon? Uh, when do you typically use a colon? That's actually this video right here. It's just sort of a high-level overview of why do you use these different punctuation marks. And personally, after watching this video, um, some of the rules, some of the punctuation rules sort of explain themselves. Because it's just really when you understand the concept of the comma and the colon, semicolon that the rules make a lot more sense. And then the four sentence types um, when you do punctuation, you'll be gathering sentences or constructing sentences, and there's only four basic types of sentences. So it's good to go over what these four different types of sentences are so you know how to construct them. So I actually say, watch this video, watch all the videos, and come back and watch 
at least these two videos right here. So, but for fundamental concepts on grammar, there's five videos totally in an hour and a half. And then uh, there's 17 videos on major punctuation. So that's all these right here. So period, comma, semicolon, colon, dash, question mark, quotation marks. So there's 17 videos that cover these punctuation marks. Then I have six videos that I uh, cover what I call minor punctuation. I actually think I got the major minor punctuation from the Greg, from the Greg's reference manual, to be honest. So those are uh, the minor punctuation marks are parentheses, the use of italics, the ellipsis, the ellipsis, slant, apostrophe, and the hyphen. It's just a general usage. And then what I there's uh, 18 videos on what I call other topics. And those are these. I think there's one more. So 18 videos on uh, capitalization numbers, which, you know, time, money, fractions, ordinals, etc. Abbreviation, the hyphen with compound words, and spacing. And spacing, uh, probably, uh, the big question, is there one or two spaces after period? You know what? Watch the video. And then uh, sort of use of yes or no. It's just specialized words. And there's a total of 41 videos on the major punctuation, the minor punctuation, and other topics. There's a total of 41 videos, which totals six and a half hours of total content. Six and a half hours. All free. And then um, if you want to, uh, like I mentioned, you know, inexpensive, you're looking for an inexpensive reference. I do have a print and an ebook version of the 99 punctuation rules, and I have it in what's called the student and reference edition. But both editions cover, go over the grammar, or has a grammar review. Uh, both editions have the 99 rules, and both editions have 514 examples. So the student edition currently is uh, $6.95 for print, $2.99 for the uh, ebook, and it um, highlights now LMEG, BGGP, and GRM. These are just the abbreviations for Morrison's English Guide, uh, Bad Grammar, Good Punctuation, and Greg's Reference Manual. This just highlights the differences. It's really this it, student edition is really based upon the videos. It just really covers, you know, here are the answers. Sort of like here are the punctuation rules, and then if the BGGP does something slightly different, then it's going to say, hey, and if you want to follow the BGGP, do this. So it just highlights the differences among these three guides. Uh, but there's also what I call the reference edition for 895 or 499, or 895 is the print, 499 is the uh, ebook version. This actually cites and discusses the differences, so meaning um, where there's a difference in the rules, so I actually cite the section in the BGGP, so you can go look it up yourself. And uh, these discussions also uh, may include quotes from these uh, references and things like that in a, in a more detailed discussion. So it also contains uh, citations and discussions of the other references like the Chicago Manual of Style. So the, the total difference between these two is 11 pages, and the 11-page difference is really all these citations and discussions. So that's how much additional discussion is in the uh, reference edition. And there's also a workbook. So the 99 Rules Workbook, uh, the print edition is 690, currently 695 or 299 for the ebook. There's a total of 500 problems. Now, 375 of these problems uh, re, uh, regard grammar and the 99 rules. These were composed and arranged to follow the video series or the book. So let's say it covers, uh, you know, um, it doesn't, there's not uh, problems for every rule and for every grammatical review. Usually uh, there's a, uh, Oh, there's a set of problems after it covers us, you know, after a few rules, we'll say, okay, now let's go practice, you know, putting the comma in, 
uh, the, for these rules and it just focuses on those rules so there's 375 problems like that and then at the end there's what I call 125 general problems so this so these problems cover all the 99 rules so and all the uh, so you can you know it's all it's they're going to be mixed up or what rules are used are going to be mixed up so that's it uh, for this initial video I'm going to ask you if this is interesting to you or you're going to find this beneficial I'm going to ask you to subscribe so please go subscribe now if you like this video or any other videos please hit like and if I were you um, go online go to amazon.com and check out the book or the ebook if that interests you no obligation to purchase it the videos are completely free and the uh, references are optional okay thank you